السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Welcome to a new episode from our series Common Mistakes in Ramadan In Ramadan a lot of Muslims care to give their zakat which is a wonderful thing just make sure that uh, this is basically your, your, your annual uh, year of giving zakah because if you the due of your zakah for example earlier three months earlier um, uh, you should not delay it but if you're just going to manage your zakah every year on Ramadan that's fine <clears throat> but what I would like to, to, to mention here since a lot of people give zakat in Ramadan um, that there's people have certain people that they help them every year like a family or an individual that they give them their zakat every year you know what, it doesn't mean every year that this person is still faqir, deserves zakat. What if their situation changed? So make sure before you pass it on, just you know, to make sure that the situation changed in that person's or that organization's, because sometimes the need is not there anymore. They already established whatever they want. They paid the debt that they were at. So they might not be eligible for the zakat. So it is not about thing to uh, ask uh, if it's an organization or a pra- of, of a person to investigate. On the other hand, also there's another mistake when it comes to that. There is a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, you're not an IRS. You're not like, you know, going to audit the guy and, and make sure that his income and uh, that's also not your job. But you did your judgment, uh, your, your best judgment. Uh, and remember uh, that the life uh, standard and the uh, responsibilities in life can be different from one person to another based on that, where they live, and based on the number of families uh, uh, in his household, uh, and so many other factors as uh, well. You know, I, I, one time somebody told me, oh, I give zakat to this person, he has a car. So what if he has a car? That doesn't mean he's not eligible for for. Uh, as a cat. Yeah, if somebody, you know, get uh, the newest car every year and he, he might or he have a good new car, but you know what? He taking an installment. He pay only $200 a month. It doesn't mean that he's rich. You know, maybe he is in debt for other things. Maybe he did in debt because of medical bills or because of students loans or things of that nature. So he still, or because he got married and he ha- accumulated certain debt. So he deserved the zakat or she deserved the zakat. So what I'm saying is uh, uh, you have to balance that. Uh, and it's a great idea to consult and to ask the people of knowledge because when it comes to the zakat, I found a lot of people either is too stingy or people, they don't care. You know, uh, I've seen people giving zakat to their relatives even though that they don't uh, need the zakat or they are, uh, uh, well off or they gives the zakat even to their own children uh, while they are fully capable of supporting them uh, so uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of us a zakat is one of the pillars of Islam so make sure that you learn about the ruling of zakat uh, before you give it uh, out wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh subscribe to this channel share this video and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified with every new video at Faith IQ. Jazakum Allah khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi